In this tutorial, I'm going to go over radio aids to navigation on the VFR terminal and sectional area chart. We can immediately see that there's two colors, and the color implies the directionality of the radio aid. The non-directional beacons, or NDBs, are given by magenta and kind of have this matted circular texture of concentric dots. Now, we can also have an NDB with a DME, or distance measuring equipment, and that will be indicated with a blue box around the center of the circle. On the other hand, the left half column shows the blue symbols, which have an associated directionality to it, like the Very High Frequency Omni Range, or VOR station, which is a pentagon with a circle. We've got a Vortac, which is a VOR with a TACAN system. The TACAN is a tactical air navigation equipment and it's a military version of a DME but you can use it just as you would a, a, a civilian DME. This is given by a more triangular symbol with solid lines on the three vertices. We've got a VOR DME which is the Pentagon with a with an open box around it and keep in mind that the VORs give you directionality because they tell you what you can specify what bearing you would like to follow whereas the NDB simply tells you what heading you need to point the aircraft to get directly to the station and then finally we've got a blue circle a blue open circle with a dot in it and that's for other facilities like a flight service station outlet or an RCO which is a remote communications outlet so let's take a quick look at some of these on the actual chart. Here we can see Gaithersburg Airport which has an NDB located on the field as we can see by these concentric circles that are dotted. If we move up here to the Westminster VOR or EMI we can see that it's a Vortac so if we tune in to 117.9 or 0 we will get not only the radial that we're on but also we can if we have DME equipment on board the aircraft, get our distance away from the VOR station. And we've also got this compass rose going around the VOR station, which indicates where zero is. And notice that zero does not point straight north. Straight north would be true north or geographic north. This is pointing towards magnetic north. And so this directly gives you magnetic headings. Finally, you can note that the distance from the center of the VOR to the outside of this compass rose ring is always about 10 nautical miles. And so if you know where you are in relation to this ring, it gives you a quick way of knowing roughly how far out you are. So if you're over Pretty Boy Reservoir and you're tracking in on per perhaps this radial, you'll know right away that this is 10 nautical miles. So you're about 12 to 13 nautical miles away from the station on this radial, which is I believe the 240 radial, and it's that simple.